This week, we will do a lobster poutine. You guys already know my passion for poutine and seafood. So let's take a simple dish like a poutine and elevate it to a restaurant-worthy dish. Instead of the classic gravy, we will make a nice white rich buttery sauce with a twist. Again, this video will be in two parts. Part one will be the recipe and part two will be all about wine pairing. How do we pair lobster and why? So enough talking and let's do this! First, the poutine start with fries. Some people say poutine is a rustic dish and they leave the skin on the potato. Since we are doing a fancy poutine, it makes more sense for me to peel them. Always keep your naked potato in water so it doesn't oxidize. Cut the potato the most evenly possible, otherwise when you will cook them, you will end up with undercooked and overcooked fries. Keep the rest to make mashed potato tomorrow. Rinse the fries until the water is clear. Make sure the fry are super dry before frying them, otherwise you will have a little unpleasant surprise. French fries. Now it's frying time. For super crispy fries, the best way is to double fry them. First, put them in batches at 325 Fahrenheit. We are not trying to have any color right now. After about 5 minutes, remove them and put it in the freezer until they are frozen through. The second bat will be at 375 Fahrenheit. Remove them when you have a perfect golden color and season them right now. Is that crunchy? Oh yeah! Now let's work on our lobster. If you want to see a more detailed video on how to kill, cook and prepare a lobster, I will put a link in the description. For this recipe we will only use the tail and the claw. To remove the meat from the tail, just press on it until it crack and pull the meat gently. For the claw, remove the small part with the cartilage, then run scissor on the edge. Now for the sauce, cut one shallot and four cloves of garlic. You will need some lobster butter. I will put also a link of the video showing how to make this delicious lobster butter from the shells. Put it in a saucepan at medium heat and when it melts, add your garlic and shallots. The smell of that is just mind blowing. Add one cup of heavy cream and mix it well. Grate one quarter cup of Permigiano Reggiano. I had to grate more because I have a little mouse in the kitchen who stole all my cheese. Put the zest of one lemon and the juice of half a lemon. This will put a fresh acidic flavor in it contrasting with the heaviness of the cream and the cheese. Season with salt and pepper and add fresh roughly chopped parsley. Now it's time to assemble all this together, the fries, the cheese curd. Do you know how we tell a cheese curd is fresh? Let's hear this. Put the sauce over it and add the beautiful lobster and some green to pretend it's healthy and feel good about herself. Voila! A décadent lobster poutine. Ceci, do you think this is gonna be good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wanna taste it? Yes, please. Go. Wow, <laughs> it's just too good. Wow, you like it? Yes. It's delicious? Yes. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If so, please hit the like button and I will do a wine pairing on how to pair lobster with wine, the do's and don'ts. So until then, see you soon.